us, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive your fear. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy. Most high, the awesome is the great king over all the earth. 
God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Second reading, Paul explains that Jesus' ascension means his exaltation at the right hand of the Father. As we reflect on Christ in glory, we are made aware of the glorious heritage he gives to the members of the church. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call, what are the riches of glory in His inheritance among the holy ones. And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us to believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he wore in Christ, raising him from the dead, and setting him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him a stead over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please all stand to honor the gospel.
while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. I miss you, huh? <laughs> no, this is the word that many people told me. I miss you, Father, huh? Long time, Father, no see, I miss you. Especially in the pandemic situation, people could not come for the church, come to the church for mass. And so, whenever they see me here, Father, how are you? I miss you, no? Many people said, so this is my first uh, theme, no? I miss you, I miss you. And many times, we have said this words to many people, no? This we have told our family members, we miss you, no? I miss you. We have told our friends, no? that I miss you and so on. And uh, why I am saying this one? Because I am sure the disciples have told Jesus, we miss you. Because we are celebrating the ascension of our Lord. So after the Easter, Jesus appeared to the disciples, appeared to different people in different places and in different situations. And 40 days afterwards, that means today, in front of them, he was taken up into heaven. So the ascension means Jesus was taken up into heaven. That is why I said the disciples must have said, My Lord, we miss you. Lord, we miss you. And we have told this word to our parents, to our family members, to so many people in our life. When we say that I miss you, that means we really care for them. That means we really love. There is a different relationship. The relationship between the disciples and the Jesus. Many times we also say, I miss the school where I studied. Right? I miss my childhood. If you miss your childhood, remember that now you are grown up. No? If you miss your childhood, remember that you are a mother now, you are a father, 